YouTube, it's a moment you guys have all been waiting for. It's a never before seen $1 million sneaker collection here with Johnson. And now you guys get to finally see it. So let's head in to the sneaker room. Mama, I was down for a while. Look around, now my money coming piles. Made my mama proud, made my mama smile. I was selling pounds since I was a child. I was on the ground, now I'm living wild. Yeah, I'm up, yeah, I'm up, and it's stuck. I just call my old slime, said what's up. Shout out my family. You guys just saw that nasty b-roll clip shout out to bryson for that editing but today we are here with johnson and if you guys saw the last video this is what we sneak peeked at and it's finally here so i just want to give a huge shout out to johnson thank you for having us and this is the sneaker collection i know you guys can't see everything behind you but this is it and it is a lot a lot of pairs so before this video even gets started be sure to like this video comment down below because we respond to every single comment you heard the man every single one we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers right now so thank you guys so much for the support remember if we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of june bryson is giving away 500 dollars to one of you guys so well he's adding it to what yeah you're but that's not the giveaway you oh. moron oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah you're you, giving something yeah, away. Giving, yeah. yeah you're giving something that's away right, that's he's right. adding okay all right, all right i'm giving something away too so i don't know what we're gonna give away but Just, whatever we're gonna giving away where bryson's gonna add 500 dollars on top so that's what's happening and yeah, this video hits a million views. Maybe Johnson gives away something. Let's go. I that like sounds that. good. Yeah. So yeah. what did you just sign him up for that? Oh, I totally did. <laughs> oh man, let's do it. Shake my hand. Good, <laughs> good opportunity. Anyways, Johnson, we want to know how you started this. Give a real brief description of you know how you got into the game. If you guys don't know who Johnson is, he's basically one of our business partners, essentially not technically a business partner, but basically a business partner at this point. Um, we created a really good relationship and uh, he actually hit me up and bought shoes off me. And that was how I originally met him. He hit up the Common Hype website before Common Hype AZ was a thing, bought some shoes off me. And then we met in a parking lot over at Arizona Mills Mall and he bought some shoes off me. We got to to shopping it up and he basically gave me his long story and of how this kind of all happened. And now he's here. So give him a little, brief description about how you started. And yeah, I'll give you, I'll do a quick, instead of a long version, we'll do a quick version. <laughs> uh, been in business for 24 years, spent a lot of years just in that business, building up uh, equity in the business. A Aside few, from shoes, yes? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I'm in a distribution business. Um, got to the point to where we were able to uh, put a little money to where we had some extra money to do some things and uh, was thinking I wanted to do some um, collectible cars and classic cars uh, being that we're in the automotive paint business but found that that was you know maybe you get one or two cars a couple different colors uh, I just kind of scratched that and then my son Carter said hey dad why don't you collect shoes with me uh, big Jordan fan growing up grew up in that era uh, had Jordans when I was younger and he showed me uh, the apps no. and the platform to buy shoes oh, the apps. and I was like oh my gosh I can buy shoes and there's a platform that shows value uh, and at that moment I felt like I was buying things that could sustain value uh, if there's a platform for somebody to buy and sell it and it was a, a authenticated platform where people can feel protected then I thought maybe not maybe the money that we put into it uh, would be like an asset. So Carter and I started to do it. My son's the same size as I am, so it's our collection. We went after it. That was two years ago, so. Oh, they went after it. <laughs> Again, you can't see. And uh, I need you guys to see it in the video because what's underneath here is, what did you describe this? One more, describe this. Uh, over the top. That's three words. <laughs> Extreme. All right, well, we're gonna get in this video. I wanted to introduce you guys to uh, Johnson's son, Carter, real quick. Carter, won't you? Get on over here. This is Carter. Keep in mind, I am 6'2", so he's really like 6'8". So not that short. <laughs> Bryce is behind the camera. We have these two right here. Introduce, do you yeah. love shoes? I don't know, tell them about yourself. Yeah, I mean, I started collecting shoes in high school and middle school when I was playing uh, basketball and then got my dad into it. And uh, what, how I like to tell people is I would save up and I had like a collection of like 10 shoes. A couple of them are in here. And then my love for sneakers hit my dad's budget. So, and now here we are. So let's get into today's video and I think it's going to be an absolute banger. So make sure you guys stay to the end to see what's in here. Again, drop a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And let's get into the video. Hey Steve. Hey. hey, he didn't say hi to you. I won't forget about you. Thank you. Sold out Steve. So right now we're gonna go through the dunks. I know you can kind of see some stuff behind you. We're gonna get to some investment stuff a little later in this video. If you can see that for, you know what that box looks like. Just four pairs of those chilling. When you, whenever you can, let me hold a dollar. 
Just one. But we're gonna go through the dunk section, and we're filming it this way so you guys can't see the rest of the room, but we have a long ways to go. So let's get started. Let's start with so dunk start the one. dunks. So a wheat, suede. Very nice. All right. They call it a truck it. Suede, interesting swoosh. We need to pair yeah. those in store at some point. We did, we had one. Black bottoms are always good, and when you wear them, it doesn't really show. You notice in this video, he loves doing this with the sole. I don't know why. But... Well, I don't know either. It's interesting how you make a big deal of it. This is pretty sweet. It's navy black gum, orange, orange label. Yep. Yeah. Some of this stuff is dead stock, some of it's worn. Yeah. One of my favorites. It's a white orange label. I like the subtle little things in it. It's, it's really soft leather. Let me get a feel. Oh yeah, it's soft. Very soft. Very right, buttery. You know what? Everyone gets a touch. Let me get one. Yeah. Wow. This one's crazy. A lot of people don't know about this, but this is a, a crawfish. So it's got the crawfish texture, newspaper look. The silver toe box, not my favorite. Not my favorite, but pretty sick shoe nonetheless. This next one is something you don't see dead stock very often. We actually bought it used. It's an Oompa Loompa. Oh, they made a shoe after you. Again. Wow, that just, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> he, was just, he was just waiting for that shoe to come out because he wanted to say I that. think it would fit too, but <laughs> all right, so the, that was terrible. You're an 11, I'm a nine and a half, maybe 10. I think this is a smaller size though. Aha, uh -huh. Raygun, classics, made some money on those. Could have made more on the white ones, but you know, these are Could've. atrocious. I'm, I'm put those back, yeah. just put them back. We're not even gonna talk about them. The box. B bricks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The silverless bricks or whatever, bare bricks, those are bricks. Oakland yep. A vibes for all my Cali California people. If Drew was here, he would say the same thing. Apparently he's a big Oakland A's fan. Never seen him watch a baseball game in my life though. <laughs> but, Buck. It is the Bucks. It's the uh, Travis Scott effect. That's right, it is. These, Diamond Dunks. Um, yeah, those are pretty sick. I mean, they're cool. I think I like it more when you peel it. I think they're not bad, but. No, that's bad. Quality, no good. Got the white pair too. They just get dirty so easy. We've had a couple used pairs come in and they just get so dirty. Ooh. Just keep going, you know? Lasers, we have a pair of these in the store. I made a lot of money off of these. Really? Yeah. How much money? Do we want to tell them? Yeah, I'd love to. Probably, <laughs> probably enough. Enough to buy that pair. Tell them, tell them about it. So this is, this is a, uh, shoe that they made for an all-star game in Toronto. So it it's called on StockX like a BMW. It was an all-star Toronto dunk, SB. So I cool. love it. It's, a, and it's an SB with a, a thin tongue. I am I like the- I like the thin tongues. I, I do. I do too. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind the bigger. I mean, that's not an SB, but I don't mind the big, like my Chicago SBs, which he has a pair. Like, I love that. But the leather on this is nicer. Oh, it's- Suede and so, there's some of these in here. Ice bottoms look really cool when they're new, but there I am. That's a problem, right? <laughs> I mean, I you guys it's pointed it out and now I- It's just a habit, it's okay. It, it is a habit, but ice bottoms look cool, but you wear them and- Not so cool anymore. Now this- Those are- mm. Yeah, mm, mm, people mm, mm. think, my wife has a pair over here and it's one of her favorite pairs. I'm not a fan of this, but you like it. I like it just because it's a little bit different and I like this. I love this. It's like a tan. It's mm -hmm. like a sand. Would I be able to rock it? I don't know. I just like it though. Like I, I, I wouldn't wear it, but I like it. I wouldn't wear it, but I like it. That that goes for a lot of these shoes in here. That's how I I love it. My kids can rock them. So, uh, but if dad, you don't, not rock it. So what if you like them, if you don't like them, why'd you buy them? What's, what's the reasoning behind all this? Well, I think some of it's just is the chase of, of, chasing down a shoe and, and getting it. And then it's Perfect. fun to see my son who likes it and then he rocks it and and then it's fun to see reactions of <laughs> people in here that like the shoe and stuff. So, and, and knowing that the pair is not gonna be worth less than what I bought it for. Hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. All right, well. Doesn't have to make sense to everybody, oh, but. No, my tippy toes for this. Oh my Lord. <laughs> ACGs, not bad. Made some good money on on that pair too. We 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 we're ready. We're getting to some heat heat heat. I mean, oh, it's yeah. not like that wasn't heat. OG staple. I mean, not OGs, but staples. I hit these on a drop actually. Guess how much I sold these for right after? Uh, two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and you were pumped because you made a hundred bucks. Uh, it was about three hundred because I held it for another week, and then, yep. 
and we all know what those are at now so yeah and, and i've worn that pair i like that pair you ever um, taken a loss on a shoe have you ever won on a shoe but you lost because it went up yeah matter of fact i've we've had ones uh on the reselling tips that bryson did that i thought they were really good we've actually taken pairs we've made money on lost money on and then when they went back up we bought in and made money again rotated because to what he was saying about taking that capital that was tied up instead of waiting for it to go up boom sell it get the capital go buy back in hyper royals is a good example right now of that going on yep yep get a firm one too like to me too you want to call that that's the called you you know what i call of the resale tip you know what i call it <laughs> resale tips with brian drew <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> wow wow what yeah. you have worn as i see they're a little dirty oh yeah yeah <laughs> these are some good ones yeah purple pigeon those are sick they're not better than these are they they are, uh, they better, are better. Better. better an all black shoe i don't know how y'all feel about an all black shoe but i love what they do with this on the back heel though <laughs> one of our okay. recent videos we picked up these yeah those are beijing those are different i i wear the these Bajons? yeah i wear those and people comment on them so you know it, it always feels good when you wear a pair and people are commenting on them it just these are nasty oh, those are tough like nasty in a good way those are tough what are these called because those are know. those are called the bark q browns or something like that the barquise browns there. yeah the Rashonda fives yeah those look good on carter's foot when he wore them strange loves never been a fan of this shoe oh, me, me neither it's a we, hard it's hard I, to wear it's great to look at i will tell you though we yeah we made a little money we had like 15 pairs of these uh <laughs> two j's and i <laughs> bought a bunch of them and they went up and we sold them and as you can see uh we actually hit these for retail so yes, baby come on yes. shake it shake yes. it shake and, it and actually wore them and didn't make the money on them back to the resale tips that brian drew threw out pink pigs okay. i love these these are kind of sick i like them i i from the moment i saw them and they came in the store i like them you were pretty excited to get those and you know what I, I come in here and i pull these out to wear them and i think oh man i wish i had the red laces and then what happens right there <laughs> Because I, I can't change out laces. Nice. What do you think? You see the new ones that are coming out? Uh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're way I think better. they're better than these. I agree. These are just sweet, though, dude. Yeah, these are super triple, uh, triple, triple Nike swoosh. Really quadruple with the furry one. These are nice. Not great leather, but once it's again. It's not, and I wish it did something more with the toe. Like, if they did that multicolor on the toe box and stuff, maybe around, I think it would have been cool. Well, that's what they ended up figuring out. Right. With they the took next your, one. with the next one. So, uh, don't have the next one. You know, Nike should holler at me. I'll be the creative shoe. <laughs> okay. This is a sleeper. It is, but you know, that kind of reminds me of the bloodline. Bloodlines. Bloodlines. I was just yeah. about to say that. It, really? Yeah. But the but the I material. do like. I, I love this pair. I love this more than. Blood I think it's just the sure. red outline. The but red. The red hints, outline. So. Yeah. Those are still tough though. Those are super What's in sick. There? So that's a no go. Is it a clock or a, what is that? It's a speed um oh, yeah, attack. It's gas. Yeah. It's attack. What are these called? The gas dunks. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> let us know. Okay. Yeah, if you know. Look it are. up. Let us know. Hey. Hey, P. With the what baby. the Paul's coming out. We hit a pair of those too. Yeah. 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 Uh, you guys hit that pair, that size 13. Mm -hmm. I had this pair for sale. I pulled it right out of over there, put it back in the collection. I was like, I'm gonna keep these. P rod details. So the P rods are here to show you because that's what we decided. Oh, last one down here. What are these? Just yin yang. Zoom Air Nike SPs? I have no idea what that is. That's the first time I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a white and black dunk. Oh, I gotta reach. Yeah, so that's the These brother bad. or sister of the orange label. Yep. That's the black orange label. Yeah, those are bad. With the gum sole? No? It's a no? That's a no. These yeah. are nice though. Dude, these, these are go. Okay. These. Oh, you got a story. These, yeah, I do. Cause I actually bought these because um, I was thinking of Bryson and the camcorder. These are called the camcorders. Sorry, Bryson. Oh, and uh, great material, uh, suede up front. I wish it was Bryson's size because then I would uh, somehow figure out a way to trade them or do whatever. Oh, let, let, let me, allow me. Yeah. That's all you. Sorry, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Couldn't see past you. Yeah. Wow. Now you know, if you're in good chefs in our group, you know we had access to these and we're still getting our pairs in. Now we didn't have the special boxes, but for what price we got these for? Wow. 
That's all I gotta say. The shoe itself, absolutely terrible though. I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, and when I first the saw them, terrible. When I first saw them, I kind of yeah. wanted them, but the more I look at them, okay, you guys, this is where you need to prepare yourself. Because you know what? Should we, should we prepare yourself four times? Yeah, I should we come to with yeah. Let's go. When I'm with you, I'm alive. Surrender your water, open up, take a dive. You a queen bee, guess a part of your hive. It's not easy for me to put it down my pride. Yeah, you're like when I'm inside. Yeah, we're all in on these. Yeah, <laughs> there's and no again, turning back now. I sold this pair. If I remember correctly, it was for three hundred dollars. It wasn't to me. It was not to you. <laughs> I know. I did sell it to somebody. What's interesting is this is a this is a dead stock pair. This green and I believe this green pair we bought a special box because it was less expensive than mm. a, the regular box. So which never happens. It, and on this one, it did. I I don't even know where the special box is. But oh, should we explain to them real quick where your boxes are? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's worth explaining. So. This this wall of uh, cases is actually 18 inches from the wall, and so all the empty boxes are. Why don't you, why don't you put the camera in here <laughs> and see if you can? All the empty boxes are actually behind <laughs> the case, so that if we we've actually sold, as you collect, you you fall out of love of stuff. And you realize that there's not an endless amount of money. And so we sell shoes. For some it is. For others it's not. No, it's not. There's always there's always a capital constraint. I don't care who you are or what business you're in or what you're doing. There's always a capital restraint. Even That's why JC, banks loan yeah, money. Even when JC had his, he had to get rid of all, most of the collection because he was like, okay, like now I got to restart. Yeah, so there are some things as we collect, there's things that we fall out of love of. Or when you walk in here, you're... you're why did I buy that? Right. And so we've sold probably a hundred, 150 pairs of shoes, and then we have the boxes behind in order to put them in and be able to sell them as dead stock or they can use the with box. the box. Wow. I mean, DS. Yep. Yep. Again, his whole collection size 11. If you guys see anything that you like, everything's for sale. <laughs> Okay, has just price. straight up, everything's for sale. It's a reality. Right at Johnson Secret Co. I cannot wait till you guys have thousands of messages. Have fun with that. Because <laughs> I don't have fun with it. I mean, we, oh. don't, we don't respond to every single comment. Yeah, we don't respond to every single <laughs> comment in DM. <laughs> the disrespect. It's no disrespect. Hey, it's we just, do. Yeah, we do, though. Hey, matter of fact, every single let's, give matter, some, matter. let's give some money away. Whatever you decide to give away, $5. I'll match it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I get fifty dollars away this video, and he matches it for fifty. So we're gonna bring a hundred dollars away this video. Let's do it. To random people who comment. To random people who comment. That's right. Creative comment. That's, yeah, creative. Yeah. Something creative. Yeah. Something that's gonna make us want to be like, boom. There's the something $50 that's gonna winner. make us laugh. Used Red Lobster. Uh, I got it from a buddy, uh, Net Magnesium. Great guy out of Canada. Runs an awesome business. But uh, he hooked me up, got me those. Just. Yeah. I mean, come on. Talk to Yeah, me. that this is dead stock too. So um the lowest ass on stock X right now is 23 grand. Now, obviously it's not going to sell for that, but no. Yeah, this shoe is hard to find. You can't it was find that. uh we chased it for a while to get this pair. Not as hard as the yellow to find for yeah. sure. Uh rumors that the yellow one that we don't have is, you know, something like 23 pairs or something of the yellow lobster. Bad. Oh, you don't like? Yeah, th this me no likey. <laughs> this black leather toe box is uh, most that, shoes man. that have that uh, is a no go. Out. It's out. Out. And we'll talk about that later in investment because that really speaks to sometimes what shoes do as far as on the market. Um, this is this is an okay. It's not bad. Black gray gum. It's not great, but not bad. What do you think about these next ones? I tell them there's an Air Force that looks like this. I used to have it. It doesn't really go for anything, but there's it's a uh, sketch sketch the shelf something like that. I think. So this is like it's, it's called like Live Game or something. Dunk Low Live Game. Uh, there's actually. Can you peel this? You can. It it's like a. Man, I I don't know. Okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh my god. This is like a bread SB Dunk. Yeah, black cement. It's called, but. We have a couple pairs of these in the store now, baby. Mm -hmm. So that's a J-Pack. That's a that's a Shadow Dunk knockoff. That's, I mean, that's those that's nice. pretty sick. Those are tough. Infrared. I like those. Yeah, um, I I like them too. 
Bryson, this uh, toe box. Did the canvas? I just noticed that. That does not do oh, it for yeah. me. And this video is sponsored by Sauce. Sauce, thanks so much for providing us food. And by Sauce, I mean Johnson. Thank <laughs> you for providing us food. Yeah, you got it. I'm hungry. Blue Fury. Bad. Made a little bit of money on this. You know, I made, I also did. I didn't lose any money on it, which is good, but. It's not as bad as you think, but this, this was a shoe that came out uh, with those laser oranges and when Dunk started to take off. And so this is one of those shoes that we went heavy in on and, and, and did pretty well. Uh, yeah. Okay. You love these. You love them. The, these are, who can? you don't? How do you, how do you not love those? So I do, but I want to wear them. There it is. So here's the thing that, that I like. I like the, the, the brown, with the yellowish orange, but then the blue swoosh, and then the the red and white. I mean, it's just little things. White laces, this label's the same as back here, and then Travis wears it, and boom. You know, some, some would say it's the big things, but with Johnson, it's the little thing. You know? <laughs> it is, you know, but you don't really like it, so I'm moving on. Those are nice. These are nice. Yeah, big court fan. court purple. Big fan. They don't go for a lot, I just like them. I really do. Yeah, white toe box. Love leather's it. not great, but white toe box, you know, black, Right, white toe box. That's a that's a fantastic colorway. Need Johnson it. gave me those for my birthday, baby. Let's go. You wanted them. You needed them. I did eat them, and I paid well under market for them. So and you know what? But the reason that it was fun to give you for your birthday is because one of the things I respect to you about you as a business owner is that you're not taking the money that you're making and buying a bunch of personals and the car rolling the it's car. It's crazy because that guy does it behind the camera. You must but, have not watched uh, resale tips. With but that's guy. okay. He, but he's taking some of the, yeah. and one of the things that I appreciate about you is you're taking your money, you're putting it back in the business and building equity, which I think is what a lot of people need to be focused on doing. Yeah, they make fun of the 2012 Honda. No, nah, man. But So I love it. When I it's, had the Tesla. So whenever that is. Don't call. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But don't, here's don't one of those up. shoes. Here's one of those shoes that uh, went in big on them, lost money, went in again when they came down, and then made money. So I, I think I'm gonna break even on these ones. Those are Not nice. this Those one. Are I'm, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I've never liked these, man. Oh man, I, I can't believe I own this shoe. <laughs> Not just one of them, but two. This is worse. At least you don't have the orange ones. Yeah, that's well, that's why I don't have the orange ones. The orange ones are like $2,500, and I refuse to invest. There was so much hype on these, and yes. then people were just it shocked. Yep. It shot, and I was never a fan of it. I did pretty good. I, I got these, um, well, you know, on the back door thing, so I, you know, pretty good price. These are nice. This is something I'm a big fan of. It's just, if I had it, I would wear it, but I'm not going out of my way to buy it. We just looked these up because we didn't know what these were called, and I just forgot what they're called. Me too. Do you <laughs> but those are cool. Okay. Got those Look at this. The you got the red accents. Okay, the back of the shoe is terrible. That gold. That yeah, gold's tragic. Ter but the front, focus on the toe box. Yeah. If I walked in with that toe box, with the red stitching, you guys might, you might take note. Hmm? But if you, if I was leaving, <laughs> you'd be like, see you later. <laughs> Those nice. are so tough, bro. Those I, are, well, I first grabbed these and I thought they were the PlayStation. Don't ask me why, but I thought they were the PlayStation dogs that you know, oh, no. nobody ever got. And I was like, well, I didn't even know you had those. Those but are so tough. These are tough. It's like called a wolf, wolf gray or something but yeah the suede to the leather is a is a nice touch i forgot i had those until you pulled them out <laughs> those are so sick. so those are okay <clears throat> move on we're just, moving on just move on we're dude. Guys, yeah i've lost so much but this is the better shoe the left is the it better is. shoe with that toe box because that gold toe box is as bad as bryson losing money brandon losing <laughs> yeah. money on it so sashiko is a a term used uh i believe in japan that is the idea of stitching over the denim in order to build strength in it. If this is from Japan? I should know that. I can't wait. You guys are gonna roast us in the comments. If we mess up a dunk or something, just, I, just let it go. They're not gonna let it go. You guys should just go for it. Like, <laughs> do what you need to do, comment. You might win 50 bucks and get <laughs> out. Yeah, us, best okay? roast gets 50 bucks. How yeah, teach us. Yeah, oh, teach us. Roast? We don't know where no, I'm kidding. That's that's oh. big count. Did you just call a dunk an SB and SB a dunk? People get really worked up about yeah. that. You mean, do you know how many dunks we're going through right now? This is just a dunks. That is relatable to that as we made a lot of money, or we lost a lot of money, but we're trying to make it back. Yep. Right yep. There. And I'm. You know, trying to get my money Price back out of there. Bryson made a lot of money on that. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. The quality on this, yeah. uh, not great. Not great. White ray gun. These shot up a bunch. Okay, these are. You guys use the term gas. Okay, th those are those are gas. <laughs> 
I think these are trash. Okay, we're moving on. All right. What's well, your shoe collection? It's your your YouTube. First. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, we have to we have to get the same. What do you say? Tell them what you say. Any, well, any? on the phone, you guys wanted me to talk to the people, and I was like, YouTubers. That's what he calls us. <laughs> Not you. The people. You the people the that people. sit. The viewers. Oh. The viewers. The people that watch. I mean, people that invest in you. Okay, these are sick. I don't mind those. Okay, I wear these and people comment on them and do not know what they are, like sneaker heads and stuff. This is a flat silver. Bet they didn't know that. Talk to them. I, I wear these a bunch. I can tell. That's a great shoe. Um, you know, it's I like them, but I want to wear them. <laughs> just seems so disappointed in that one. Well, the let's, okay, the detail, I would not wear them, but the details are nice. I mean, you got the snowflake toe box. Well, some of the details are nice, but like, seriously, do I need this like rubbing up against my ankles? This is like... Oh, I love it. A little velvet well, action. You like it, but no. And the silvery Come on. laces. They did well with that. Christmas box. Then what don't you like? <laughs> I want to wear it. <laughs> these ones are... Nobody knows what these are either. These are gas. Carter loves gas. These. Gas. Okay, this is this is sea crystal. Educate him. If you don't know, you don't know. But small tongue SB, um, the color is just great. I love black bottoms because you can wear them and they don't they don't ding up too bad. Hear them? They don't ding. Oh, these are terrible. I just I just have to know why. Uh, my brother, my brother really liked these. So good for him. Yeah. Turk and Tinker, whatever. Zambas. Okay, terrible, yep. lost money, move on. <laughs> you know, V, honestly, not bad. I mean, quality of these used nugs are not good, but not bad. I would wear this. I think these are really nice. Yes. Those are gas. These are really nice. Thoughts? I don't have a thought other than, uh, I don't like them. Okay, there it is. I think they're hard to match, but I think what's cool is the uh, patterns are different for every shoe. I'm going to stay down here, trash. Bryson has a pair of these. What is it called again? People love Biotech? that shoe, brand. Yeah, Biotech. No. People love close. it. The people love it. You can get a nine and a half at callinghypeasy.com. Yeah, that's right. Those are not good. Trash. I am as I a lost Bears fan. So much money on those. Yeah, I like. And yeah, I made so bad. much money when you sold them to me for the low. Yes. Shake my hand. And those play like the Bears. Also Losing. not good. <laughs> Veneer not good. Made good money on that. Wow. Um, people love that shoe. Well, the Ugly Duckling collection is nice. The material is It's a hit or miss. Good. You either love it or you don't. I love Those these. Those are really good. These are slept on. Th these Even are, though with the black yes. toe box, I, I like I, them. I agree. Telling the people right now. Oh. Uh-oh. I Look, if you want to invest in something under $200. I mean, under two. Under two. You you probably can get some for $150 pretty easily. Um, but this shoe right here, uh, sizes, I'd say, 5 Men, so what? Six and a half women, up to about a nine, I and you'd be safe. I think ten W to Toldo. You can two fifty three hundred dollars in the next couple months. Um, mark his word. <laughs> okay, Coast Gangster. Why? I love it because the the new ones, the the UNC ones that are coming out, don't have the gold accents. I that's think the gold right. accents. It's a little, little things, that's a little thing. So I agree thing. with you, boss. I uh, I'm gonna buy these. Yes. Don't know what I'm gonna wear them with, but I'm gonna buy them because I I just need them. Plain and simple. This, I'm gonna buy these as well. These are just, they're nice. You guys know I have these. I made, the, not only do you have them. You wore oh, those over to my house. I'm wearing them right now. That's nice. That's I've made nice. so much money on these. Both these. You're still selling Just this. today you uh -huh. did. I sold my last pair, size seven and a half. We sold it for seven eighty-five, something like that. Kentucky's, I made so much money on. Those are gas. Can you reach that? I can't reach it. Oh. Yeah, but you just passed through you just passed through five dunks that have gone up in value and one of the reasons for it is because it has a white base and you guys talk about what shoes should we invest in what should we do and white anything that has box. a white toe box a white base does well <coughs> spartan dunks <coughs> spartan dunks over the michigan dunks just it's the same thing things like this not so well i bought a few of these i talked to you after i did that and i was like oh I just hate the laces on these. And, uh, and, that's, and the that's stupid ice bottom. Yeah, that's a money loser. Okay, so Michigan Dunk, same concept. This will not do as well as... It won't, but it's it a won't. nice shoe. It's yeah, so this shoe will do very much like this shoe and the Champs. It's going to be similar. There okay? you go, hot take. These have shot up, and they're probably one of my favorite dunks. 
I traded Dude. Bryson for these. For some Spartan Green Dunks, actually. For some reason, this shoe just hits. It hits. The colors or... And with white laces. You go, to, go. you go to Brazil in these things, and the Brazil girls see you, that's it. If you're looking for Brazil girls, you know, Brazilian get, girls, get a pair. I'm not, you know, <laughs> I, Sarah, Sarah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just letting the people he, know. Just giving advice. <laughs> if you were. Yeah, if, but if I was, I would go with them. Oh, uh, this is. This is terrible. Yeah, they, 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 are, Black worth, they base, are worth $3.99 is what they're worth. Gum bottom, free $99. They should be for $99. Bucks. Let That's me tell you what shouldn't be what free $99, though. Them. These are disgusting. Okay, peoples. Let me tell you. You heard him. Peoples. Unreleased in the U.S. Talk to him. Man. Hey, not on my piggies at Kobe Swap Meet. Well, they got on your piggies at Kobe Swap Meet. That's thanks for to sure. Thanks to who? Well, thanks to the people okay. that watch this video. Yep. Me being you're, one of them. You were supposed to say you. Yeah. Well, Johnson Sneaker Co., everybody. Let's give them a little pop tag. Let's yeah. See. But hey, so we'll, we can't give them all the, we can't give them all, but that's how we get the unreleased that's stuff. That's it. That's all you need. Let's just say Dusty Olives hitting commonhypeaz.com. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, when you watch this video. Yeah. Commonhypeaz.com. Shop 24-7. Or some would say 25-8, you know? That doesn't make sense. Some would say you can order for local <laughs> That'd delivery. That'd be like saying I'm going to give 110%. I don't, I don't understand. He just doesn't get it. Some <laughs> would say you can order for local pickup. Some would say you could order for shipping. <laughs> some would say you can't ship worldwide because we don't ship Some worldwide. would say that shoe in your hand is the, the first dunk. double we've seen in the collection. The dunk of, well, okay. Yes. This probably is the dunk of 2021. And because it's a smaller tongue, it's 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 too big for me. God. Carter is a probably a like a small half size bigger than me, and I I love that dunk, so I needed a ten and a half. It's so gas. I'm gonna sell the eleven when Carter's not looking, get the money that will help pay for my ten and a half. So waiting that go up, sell it used, worn. That's how we do it around here. Wait, we never actually address what's on your feet. Uh Jordan one low. Love Jordan one lows. Uh Dior Customs. Courtesy of uh, Chef Huel, buddy out of uh, Florida. Again, customs. He's not wearing Fugazis. They're customs. So uh, we've got the Dior. So, and you know. Very good shoe. White toe box. Yeah. Another one of the, one of those bangers. This is an interesting yeah. shoe. These are bad. These are really bad. Bad, like bad. terrible? Bad. Really bad. Okay. All right. You can cut them. You know that, right? Yes. We're oh, getting into Jordan's. Yeah, now. this is Jordan Lowe's. Okay. Yeah. That's a dirty one. This is. This is the dirtiest pair we've picked. I'm gonna finish out this row. I'm gonna finish out this row, and then we're gonna move it on to Bry. I love these. I'm not a huge Jordan One Low guy, but I like these a lot. I'd yeah. rather wear the. I'd rather wear the Dunks, but the black tongue is is hard for me on the Jordan One Lows. That that bigger tongue. And apparently anything orange just shoots to the moon, huh? That's yeah. to the moon. We bought a size 13 the other day. It's worth like 350. I might sell those. If you guys want to buy that pair, <laughs> it's for sale. Make sure you have Dunks sneaker coat. Yeah, five, not 500, but I, I would get rid of that out of the collection. I would not pull that out and wear it, but. All right, so we're going to switch cameras. Bryson's going to show you guys the Jordan 1 Lowe's that we have, or he has, and. Uh, Trade out. Yeah, it's, it's me now. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, I came here about two hours before we started this video to get you guys some pretty cool B-roll. So um, if you guys enjoy that B-roll so far, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribing and make sure you guys are commenting down below because we are commenting back to every single person and I heard there's some money being given away to some commenters out there today. So uh, we're here, Johnson. You know, this is one of Johnson's favorite shoes. And it is. It is. And in honor of that, I wore them here to his to his giant room here today. Shake my hand, shake, shake my, my hand. hand. Um, so we're gonna start going on some lows now and we're gonna work our way into our, some Jordans. And uh, me, and, me and Johnson, we love talking about Jordans. So why don't, we, why don't you start us off here? We'll start with a, uh, I call it like the old, older school Jordan 1 low. Yeah, you but love these though. Yeah. That's the best Jordan 1 Smaller low. tongue, I agree. Royals. Yeah. But same thing, it's the newer Jordan 1 yeah, low with the bigger just, tongue. They Not just a, aren't the same. They aren't bred, wore like crazy, but yeah. nice toe box. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, this is. This isn't a Travis 1 low, but this is really close. Chicago's, the leather is yeah, the fantastic. Leather is and these used to go for, I'm telling you, these used to go for nothing. Like these literally used to. What's go nothing? For nothing. Like these barely went for over retail. I'm pretty sure these were in outlets. Like people didn't really like these, especially this colorway right here, the bread colorway. Like people, people didn't really want anything to do with the shoe when they dropped. And obviously, you guys know now, 
Um, I remember we got a pair of these in uh, like a shadow colorway in the Look store, the and I sold them for like 400 used. Look at the yellowing on the sole. I, yeah, those are That those is are good. big yeah. now, right? Yeah. And you could tell by the, the glitter. The it's glitter. not glitter, yeah. but it's the, the wax from the paper. Right. That, that you guys are going to see a lot of these pairs in here. Some of these older pairs you're going to see um, of what looks like glitter on top of the leather of the shoe. Um, and that's just because it, with the older pairs, the when they sit in the box, oh, here we go. the paper. I don't know. Can you pick that up on camera, B? <laughs> Yeah, you guys can see that right there. And for instance, the paper in the box, so. Yeah. And you can. It, it, come, you can yeah, it comes see off. That. Yeah. You can see it come off right there, see? That's Have you worn that one yet? No. No. I like, look at the yellow on that, that mid. So yeah, that's it's good. yellow. It's starting to yellow yeah, here. That's that, good, though. Man, that looks awesome. Yeah. It's okay. It's just hard I, to look I, at those right after I agree. you look at the other ones. Same thing here. We're just we're just going downhill. Yeah, that that that's mm. awful. I have a pair of these. <laughs> come to think of it. Bordeaux? Yeah, those are kind of nice. I, I'm just not like, what they did with this toe box, just, it's just tough, but That's I mean, a hard wear for- Yeah, these are great for substitute for, for people that obviously don't have the budget to be buying expensive shoes like these. Like obviously, these are really, really good, um, like I said, substitutes for ex really expensive shoes. They replicate um, SBs, they replicate the lows. So that, that's, not a, that's not a bad- That's not a bad right. Bordeaux. It's not always about having the most expensive stuff. So a shadow. We saw a lot of those in yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, I wear, we wear these. We move a lot of lows in store. I appreciate you letting me get down and. and yeah, absolutely. Shoes. I mean, uh, one of my favorite. Yeah. So interesting enough, it's an SB, SB Jordan, the only shoe that has the Jumpman on the toe box. I bought these for probably 200, 250. Uh, Should have bought a few of them. Yep. Didn't. Yeah. Didn't I? Um, those are pushing I could have paid for those, but I, I didn't. So. Yeah. But, See, like this, when you get into okay. stuff like this, and everyone's like, you know, maybe the lows aren't so bad. Mm. Yeah, the UNC Lowe's, we moved a lot of these in store too. Yeah, women's shoe, Yeah, right? these these were before the coast happened. So this was like, yes. this was the coast before the coast. These went up in price a lot yep. over time. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still sitting somewhat up there. They, they probably, they're less than those. Yeah, they've probably gone down a little bit, obviously, since the all of the coast colorways or the, the you know, baby blue colorway. I tore these up. Yeah. This is a good one. Those are clean. Ooh. I like those. So those remind me of those, those dunks over there. Mm-hmm. So we'll pull out another one that's a, a Paris. This is an Astro Grabber, uh, it's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is not the Coast. No. This is an upgrade. That is. So yes. this is an SB, that's a UNC, and, and that's just, that's a great shoe. That's a great shoe. And those go so for the, a good amount too. Yeah, this goes for a check. Yeah. Somebody's check. Yeah. Right? Your check. <laughs> so hotcakes, in store, hotcakes, hello. You mean use these, those we sold no, for 200, this, now those are worth like, like 250? This is like a warm cake. Okay, it's a, it's a cupcake. That's a cupcake. I like that. Yeah, shake my a, hand. Shake my hand. Bro, That's we've sold like 30 units of those. I will never forget the day Brandon dropped the investment video on the Jordan 1 Lowe's and you guys laughed at him so hard. And I mentioned it before, but it's just so funny because he's made so much money off of them. You can't hate the guy for making the money. Is it the prettiest shoe? No, no but can you buy low? And you sell high? And you sell high? <laughs> yep. I, I heard sell tips before. with Brian Drew. I like actually I, I liked your segment. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Yeah. You. Did you watch the whole thing? Yes. Uh, a couple times. I didn't see you like, comment, or subscribe though. Because I subscribed when there was like 3,800 <laughs> subscribers. You didn't subscribe when we had less than a thousand. <laughs> you had to probably earn, you had to earn probably it. not. You just followed me on Instagram you had last to, week. I'm not. You for guys a year. had to explain <laughs> to me how to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the YouTube app on my phone. I think you until followed your me on guys Instagram channel. for my birthday. Paid so some went, money on these. Yeah, we sold a couple of these in store too. Those are nice. Easter, I, uh, Easter vibes. I get comments on those all the time. That's a that's a warm cake. Cupcake. Cupcake. Just a cupcake. This is different. Kind of maybe a little uh, little preview of the uh, the lemon SBs. Or the yeah. Le the lemon, not SBs, not SBs. Everyone relax. Are uh, the lemon dunks that are coming out? That's what these kind of remind me up off the bat. Yeah. It's kind of got like a Florida vibe. Yeah, I was going to say. It's a nice uh, dad on vacation shoe. Yeah, like the shirt that you had on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you get it. I like that. See, I do watch the videos. You watch the videos. And you're going on a date that night. Yeah, How'd I did. How'd that go? It was nice. It was yeah. real nice. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Went real well. With the lady and the parents and- Oh yeah, the whole shebang. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, real That's nice. Good. We got some Italian food, some assortment of pastas. Conversation probably, better probably than the food? Yeah, oh yeah, always. Mm. Remember, you called me right before the- Better dinner. than this shoe. Yeah, absolutely. So we Let's get see. through all those Jordan ones and then we get to the old school. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's the best way to end it off. Gotta love it. Uh, these I'm just gonna skim through. Well, you know, we're I, gonna, if we're gonna do mids, which are not highs. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do two bangers. 
yeah. If these are the only two mids you need to have if you have mids, in yeah. my opinion. Mids are not. I can't believe how much these go for, but they do. Yeah, those baseball stitches are a nice touch. I, you know yeah. I like those. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for uh, just a little more B-roll because we're about to get into about to get into the good stuff right now. Off white SBs, big stack blue cheese, added up money machine, count up money machine, added up money machine, count up money machine, added up money machine, count up money machine, pull up front three, making it really career. We're starting it off hot. We are starting it off. Yeah, it gets it gets serious on the Jordan Listen, one high. I'm gonna in a hand minute. these to him because I'm sure that there is a story behind finding a pair like this so we actually um met jc lopez 2j's kicks when the quarantine was happening and his stores were shut down in new york and las vegas and then at some point he opened the store up and some of his consigners had not changed their pricing and jordan's had jumped up because um, michael jordan the last dance came out well you were on the line buying when when we were and this pair was available and so I thought, you know what? I gotta go grab a 1985 pair of Jordan Chicago's. ones. Chicago's, not just Jordan ones, Chicago yeah. ones. So that's these are uh, size eight, um, 1985 Jordan ones, and got them for a pretty good. I'm gonna say not for sale, unless you. Uh, they're probably not for sale, but I mean everything's, for, everything's sale. for sale. You can see some of the breakdown of the heel which they're making shoes like this yeah. like my, my guy that does custom work that. for us is starting to do that yeah. and it's just it's it's pretty he's, so yeah, th these are cool sneakers. so thank you consigner who didn't change your price right here have to have them breads we're gonna go through these because this dude's got every black white and red colorway there is we've got a bread toe right here where do you stand with all these colorways what's your what's your og what's your favorite out of the black, white black it's the Chi it's the pure chicago one right with here. yes and just because the tongue, I, I I like this tongue with just a simple... Like here. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a 2015 Chicago that has a different tongue on it. Yeah. Jumping on the back. I'm not a big fan. Satin black toes right here. This is a really cool shoe. This is a woman's shoe. Yeah, um, that that popped. Like when that dropped, that, that was an $800 shoe or something. Because and the hype... Um, remember when they dropped the bread satins and the royal satins? Yes. Um, the, the hype was built up from those yeah, two. Yeah, that was an amazing thing. And those kind of dropped low-key. Kind I of? So. Yeah. Yeah, some people really lost changed. money. I, I was not in it. Um, is this a different pair of black toes? A second pair? Yeah, that's a... That's, that's a, a black yeah, toe. No, black toes. Oh, yeah. Bread, those, those were bread toes down here. Black toes... Um, yeah, these go for a check too. Any black, white, and red colorway other than that's a that's said. a great one, Bri, because that black toe is just yeah in it, any it Jordan one it high kills. it kills. So if yeah. you guys see a Jordan one high with the black toe dropping, um, that's most gonna do well. Of, most of the ones that we're gonna really like in this in this giant row right here um, are gonna have that. But this was the other pair of Chicago's he was talking about. Um, yeah, just not a, Nike Air. Just doesn't not hit as hard. Just doesn't hit as hard. So I've seen these a couple times. Yeah. A couple. We've seen them four times over there. Yeah, I saw them 125 times. Um, yeah, trophy rooms. Yeah, I made a check on them. Oh, wait. I know what you're referring to. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I wish they did the leather a little better on these. These in the neutral grays, it's it's just, they're just stiff shoes. Yeah, so if you pull out, apologize, but if you, if you pull out this shoe and you feel the leather quality, it's yeah. different. Yeah, it's not even comparable almost. Yeah. And, and same thing with the spider. So the Spider-Man, yeah, yeah. the origins that are down here a little uh -huh. bit, same thing. The, they're, the leather quality is just, just better. I'm right here, Jim Red. I actually was a pretty big fan of these. It's not something everyone likes, but I just like how the, the sole was kind of already aged a little aged a little bit. I agree. I, I think this is a great, the only thing is this this black is glossy and I think that's what turned people off. But yeah, yeah. And there was, I think there was just a lot of pairs of those too. Well, most Jordan 1s will drop about 100,000 pairs on a drop. Uh, I'm, I made a, a check on these. Yeah. Made a lot of money on that, that shoe right yeah. there. Did you? Yes. Yeah. Shake it. Yeah, thank you for shaking my hand. <laughs> uh, this might be my one of my favorite Jordan 1s. Really? Yeah, I, the the texture on here doesn't turn turn me off in a sense, like the Spider-Man type mm -hmm. dots. The blue tag on the tongue, I think is a great touch. You want to and, know why that surprises me? And then the me? red on the uh, lace tip. Surprises me because... I understand, I know. Because you really don't like... I really you're don't. You're very picky about it, I must say. Yeah, but I just love that blue tongue. So we just chased this pair down. Yeah. 
Yeah, Carter was like, Dad, we don't have the yellow one. We really need that. And I, I agree. I agree with him. Yeah, and the interesting thing is they dropped these to kind of mock yeah. all of us resellers. Yeah. And uh, we just went crazy over yeah. them. Like, <laughs> and you paid resale. I'm sure. I paid resale. Yeah, Carter wore these at a sneaker con video, if you guys remember that. Yeah, he that. did, and he creased the toe. Yes, he did, just like it said. Right here, it looks like we've got the Game Royals. Um, these are another colorway. Basically, all these colorways that dropped in Jordan 1s before Last Dance dropped didn't go for much. And then all of a sudden, every Jordan 1 in America, straight to the moon. Um, we might as well go through a couple of these together just because it makes sense, even yeah. though I just went over the yeah. breads. Talk about those. Man, a shadow and a game royal. Actually, if you don't know, in doing some research on Jordan 1s, uh, this is Michael Jordan's actual favorite colorway. Really? Yeah, that's his That's his favorite shoe and his favorite colorway was was this um, royal. You would think it was a Chicago colorway, but it's, but it's not, it's this. Most of our Jordan 1 collection, we put together before Last Dance. Yeah. So Last Dance hit, and shoes doubled at that price yeah. and they came down a little bit you can go back and look at some of those waves but and i think the shadow 2.0 i think it's a very solid colorway but when you just when you put it next to the og it's I like it you just can't compare them in my opinion yeah well you're an og guy right you you have memories back to this shoe right well that's that, that's the next thing i was going to talk to you about is it's cooler that you collect most of this stuff because you you grew up on the on the jordan yeah. era we, that's not something we really experienced because of our age uh, so obviously you have you have different memories with all this stuff than we probably do yeah and to probably... remember back like I mean they they came out with the this was the first Jordan that they came out with this and he wore this shoe and no one was wearing black shoes yeah no one and he wore this and got fined and Nike was paying the fine because it was worth the publicity mm -hmm. and you go back and, and obviously some of that came out in the last dance and people were to get got some of the knowledge but mm -hmm. if you go back and read about the stuff it's just Fascinating. And then Nike went to work to get NBA to approve the Chicago colorway. Mm -hmm. So this was first, and then the Chicago colorway came out. And man, it just it just was different. Jordan was a different kind of a player. He just changed. I mean, he changed sneakers for sure. Yeah. But he changed the NBA. Yeah. And I know you got some stories on the shadows. You you had them, sold them. Yeah. Wish you had them before. I kept my breads. Brandon got me a pair of breads on my 16th birthday. Um. So that was four years ago. Um, and that pair I obviously kept. I wouldn't sell a shoe that was gifted to me. Um, but I did have Shadows. I did have Royals. I sold them for the low because they didn't really go for much. There was other shoes I wanted to buy. Um, and now I look at them every day and I miss them. Mostly some of the newer stuff, stuff like Obsidians. You guys have seen these probably a million times on YouTube. You got to look at the analytics and stuff. So when shoes are dropping and people go like, hey, what do you think is going to be worth more? I'm going back and I'm looking in history of the like the last five or six drops mm -hmm. and I'm looking at trends and what they did. Because here's an obsidian that that is very similar to the black toe in a sense that it's a white toe box here and it's a darker blue. Mm -hmm. This shoe, if you go back, this, this is 200 bucks. I know. You buy yeah. this for $200. Yep. The shadows are a great example. Brandon's been talking about them being hotcakes. They're gonna sit at that 240 number I think for the next two or three months, and then and then around um, fall, you know, especially into Thanksgiving and Christmas, they're going to go up, and that shoe is going to be selling for about three fifty at Christmas time. Yeah, I agree. And so that's a, it's it's little things like that, and you don't have to go and buy thirty pairs yeah. to make an investment. You can go buy two or three pairs. I Work mean, your capital. This one, I back in the day, so I've been reselling since twenty fourteen. And this was one of the earliest shoes that I, you know, got a lot of pairs in. Um, it was one of the first shoes that I got a bunch of pairs in store. Um, and I was kind of learning the ropes. And I got about 12 or 13 pairs of these. And I think I sold each one and made like 10 bucks. So there was literally no resale value on these. Um, if you guys were in the game when these dropped, they didn't go for anything. Um, I didn't lose money on them, but I know I barely made any money on them. And now it's a, what, six, $700 shoe now? I, th I think that's a six. Yeah, I think you're right. A lot more than a lot more than what. But I same thing, before. white white toe box. Yeah, and these <laughs> and, and, and a white base here. Mm -hmm. I mean the su subtle things. Yeah. I think it's important too that you guys be talking to the people about how you guys started because they're yeah. seeing you in the store. Yeah, like it's almost like you guys got you know fell out of bed and you got this store. Yeah, I and wish. it's not the case. Yeah. It's not the case. You yeah. guys have been grinding. Yeah. Since you were 15, 16 years old. Yeah and putting in and stacking $200 on top of $200. Yeah. And I think that's important. Yeah. It's the small grind. 
And that, that's a shoe I could have sat on, but because I was so young, it's like you don't have unlimited capital. And like I mentioned in the last video, a lot of you guys, you don't have unlimited capital. You don't have too much capital to be sitting on pairs, which is why we push that when you're at least beginning to consider moving pairs in volume, because you're just, you're churning your money and you're turning your money into more money quicker. Um, and you're not sitting on the capital that is very limited to you guys. And I would say if you have less than $5,000 in capital or something to go into sneakers, you, you should be turning your inventory. Yep. And what do you mean by turning your inventory? It's got to, you got to be doing it less than two weeks. You can't be holding shoes, hoping that they go up. Yeah. You bought wrong. Yeah. So if you have shoes that you're losing money on and you're waiting for it to go up, you bought it wrong. Mm -hmm. So that whole concept of a reselling tip of buy low, sell high, it's the first start. You got to buy low. If you didn't buy low, you bought it wrong. Going back to that example about the mochas, mm -hmm. that guy bought it 450. He bought it wrong. Yeah. So Hopefully sell right. the money, get the money, get the 450, and then go buy something else that's going to go up that you can flip and make $50. I mean, yeah. that's the key. Yeah. Uh, this is an absolute banger. And you can go look at the numbers. This shoe basically never went below 300 bucks. Interesting enough, we should talk about these together because yeah. these started, these are coming out. Yeah. And we were convinced, yeah. I think all of us, that these would do better than yeah. these. So this is we, a we shoe. We were wrong. This is a shoe I lost money on. Um, I bought I bought pretty high. It was the weekend of heated sole. I don't know if you guys have been around long enough for that video, um, but maybe after this video, go check it out. Um, Johnson bought these at heated sole. He paid the high. I picked up about 15 pairs of those the same day from one of my boys. Um, at the time, market was 500, and by the time I got them, market dropped to about four, and I paid somewhere in between. Um, so I was down on them. I was able to sell most of them in store and get uh, most of my money back, but it's a shoe that. Um, I got rid of some of them and I able to buy back in. I hit a couple pairs for like 300 bucks when they're dropping back down to like 340, 330. Um, and that's something that I've learned from these two guys, Johnson and Brandon, that you can buy back in, balance out your average basically. Um, and you don't have to just neglect the shoe just because you got the shoe. Like I'm never going to buy that shoe again. That's a horrible mentality to think about. Um, that's just a loser mentality. Like you will lose money thinking like that because there's still profit margins in any shoe. But like he said, it's when you're buying the shoe that determines whether you're going to make a good profit margin. You're, the, you are the really given some just absolute... Drop a comment down below for Johnson. Give him a big <laughs> thank you for the thank you for hey, the well, help. Part, part like of... and subscribe, baby. Yeah, these like these are tips yeah, saving you roll. money. As you can like see behind and you. Subscribe. Yeah, investments. And it's how we pay for the collection. Actually, uh, JC Lopez from uh, Urban Necessities actually gave me the idea that, hey, if you're going to have a collection, why don't you pay for it by reselling on the side with your kids? And so that's something that we've decided we've done. And, mm -hmm. and if I'm going to do it, I better do it well. No different than any business that yeah. we're involved in. Shattered backboard. So the story behind these? Oh, I have one. Do you have one? Go. Um, yeah, I had two pairs of these back in the day. You guys know our boys at Bound by Soul. Um, I sold them to Dre for like 400 bucks, I think, which at the time was about 100 under market. So I hooked him up. Um, but yeah. Oh, you hooked him up. Oh, I hooked him up. Yeah, shout out to Dre because I know you still have these. But Dre, after, wear them on Tuesday after you watch this video Monday. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, he wears them though. I know he wears them. Take he a picture and show Bri. Um, and yeah. You know where these came from though, the colorway? They were termed shattered backward. Didn't he shatter a backboard? Okay, oh, now boy. this is this yes. hot cake doesn't even describe that. What is the? I mean, wedding cake. The wedding cake. Yeah. This, this wedding is wedding just, cakes. Those are yeah. that might be the full warehouse. Yeah. Right next to the fire red warehouse. Highs in the summer don't do as well as in the fall and winter. So um, I'm not quite sure when this shoe will skyrocket through um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. This might be a $700 shoe, but we're buying them low and selling them high and I'm not going to sit on them because Money. I'm not convinced that it's going to do that. Uh, this is a shoe, another shoe right after, oh, right after um, the last dance that went up and it's just, it's so easy to talk about Jordan ones like this because that's how most of them happened. I bought Brandon a pair of these for his birthday. Uh, I paid 220. And my last pair of sold of these was for like six, seven hundred. Uh, so this is what this is, yeah. So one court percent. one and <laughs> OG court purple and the 2.0. Just look at the difference in the leather, though. Yes, it's pretty sad to uh, this leather. I have a, a pair of these. This is one of my favorite really pairs. Tell. Compare sometimes, those two to these two. Sometimes they do a 2.0 and it's not too bad. Uh, sometimes they do a 2.0 and it is. Yeah, so bad. raised raised logo. I wasn't convinced of these, but the one thing that I did like about these was this was the red on the top. Hey, speaking of fits, what T do you have on here? Well, NASCAR you action. Fit. You guys know I love, I gave a little, I gave a little brief fit check. You guys know I love my NASCAR tees though. Um, I might sell a couple in store though. I have way too many of these. Um, I know you guys ask, but yeah. 
rude shorts, and like I said, Johnson's favorite shoes. We come into his house, we respect him with the with the Let's proper go. with the proper shoes. Um, I'm just gonna pull all four of these. And okay, now we're getting into the. It just doesn't stop. It really doesn't. stop. On the Jordan One highs, it it it's can't stop. In the words of Drew, can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop, Drew. Let's go. This is just such a beautiful pack. It, it is. So it's kind of got that clayish. I know they only call the clay, well, green. clay green, but the blue, blue moon. moon. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. Track red yeah, and track. yellow ochre. Ochre, yeah, yeah. These are crazy. I love yellow on Jordan 1s. So I think those are the hardest. I think those are the hardest yeah. to get mm -hmm. or find. You know what's funny is, is that I'll come into, I'll come into the shoe room and I, I wear the same thing. I don't like to have oh, yeah. choices. Yeah. So it's, that's a good it's, running joke for you guys. It's it's should we tell black. Him? Go ahead, you tell. Johnson comes and sees us a couple times a week, every week, and wait. Show keep him. in mind, look where we're oh, standing. We gotta show him. Look where he we're standing right now. Come on, the people need to know. This and is the, this is the, the Johnson special. Know, they don't need to know. Listen, Ultra Boost. He wears those black Lulu pants. May, he'll maybe switch it up with a different polo, and then. The Old Faithfuls. Every day. Ultra Boost. And that's his new pair that he just got. This is brand new. This is VNDS, as the people would say. And he says, he says, I don't wear all this stuff because it's too overwhelming and I don't have time to just sit here and think about what I want to wear today, so I just throw my Ultra Boost on. Um, but whenever we go out or we go do something, uh, he always takes care of us and he knows we get all excited when he wears some of his shoes, so. But but it's it's tough because I'll come in here and be like, Oh, I would freak out too. Oh, I want to wear something and I'll pull it out and it won't it's be laced. laced. Yeah. He hates laced And shoes. a Jordan yeah. 1 high that's not laced, is one that goes back in the case. Yeah, that's an okay. hour of his day. Yeah, so we did it. This is sick. This is because my... I hate this shoe. But then Johnson did this, and I kind of really like this shoe. And he wears these actually. He actually wears these a lot. And mm -hmm. we, we really like these because wow, we, me and Brandon, we're not big fans of this shoe. Well, because I this same thing. That tongue just doesn't do it for me. But we, you got to just do the upgrade. Fly through that one. Tie dyes. Don't even go there. Oh come on! Show respect to Jeter. The Jeter fly. The dice. next ones are pretty tight though. You got to see the. It's got different uh, words on it that describe Derek Jeter. That's that's a cool shoe. Newer releases, but now we're gonna get into some of the stuff that I was excited to go through this section with um, hmm. Johnson because this is a lot of some of the stuff I've had um, in my collection growing up. Um, these are somewhat more recent, but this is a shoe I had um, earlier in high school. That's a sleeper right yeah, there. That's that a great is. shoe. Turbos, you guys know, Brandon has a pair of these. Yes. Um, you, that's a great shoe. It is. That is yeah. a great shoe. Um, these are really cool, never had these, but Nigel's. Uh, we laced them up with a couple different ones. We couldn't figure out what laces we liked the best. I really like these. I'd be interested to see how you pull these off. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested Surprise to see me. how Surprise. Carter pulls it yeah. off. Surprise me one day. Okay, you got it. Um, That's a good pair. Yeah, you guys know I have these. You just had those, right? You yeah, have those, right? I wear, I wear these so much. Yeah. But they're yeah. just so easy to wear. Yeah. Uh, these, not, not no. a big fan of you. No. no. Cool, let's not put really. those back. This is a great yes. bar. This is a great one. Yeah. Yeah, LA to Chicago. And I've seen some people do some pretty cool stuff with that, but that's yeah. not... I also not, have a parent store called iBasy.com 24-7. Big yikes. Yeah, yeah it, this shoe would be okay. The, the tongue's terrible. This bronze is terrible. If, if I'm just walking away from you, though, yeah, that could look when good. When you're walking out the door. Yeah, walking out the door. Yeah. But other than that, no. Walking in the door, not so much. Not so much. Actually, I don't know why those are in here. We should sell those. I wish I would have known Brandon when this shoe dropped because oh. Brandon's bot was... Smoking these. Oh, and he I remember that. A sixty clip of these. And he, and he turned it off. And, and if and if I was his uh, buddy, it's he a, wouldn't have been turning it off because these I was so excited about. I, actually, these were an early pair from Windy City. I got them a month before they released. Yeah, yeah. And what he means is Brandon. Brandon turned his bot off. Like Brandon didn't want to hit any more pairs. Brandon oh, got yeah. sixty of these for retail, and he, well, he stopped buying out. them because he he didn't. Yeah. He thought they were so easy to get that no one was actually getting them. And it turns out he was just the only one that was actually, you know, getting them for retail. So this is a five hundred. You still made your money. Five hundred dollars shoe or something, right? Now. Yeah. Long story short, just buy now, think later. Here's what we're looking for. Oh no, it's not. No, that's a tinker. Oh, we're getting there. That's another tinker. Do you think those are Katrinas or something? No, I was looking for white cements. This is a fear pack. It is the fear pack. Yes. And the Jordan Four, which you guys might see in a minute. Um, yeah, the Jordan Four is better than that one. Got the Jokers right here. Yeah, those are kind of cool. Yeah, I had a pair of these. I actually wore a pair of these in junior high school. I was that wow, guy. Wow, you were that guy. You yeah. built different. He was dripping back then too. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Ain't nothing changed. I'm telling you. 
Ain't nothing changed. It's not. It's a little off white. It's a little off white cream. So it's called the International. Yeah. That that's a that's a that's a nice pair. Drew knows about these. Yeah, he does. <laughs> investments, baby, investments. Wolf Drew bought it. Drew bought a pair of those in store for sixty bucks. That was a really good deal, and never sold them. So no. we gave them away to someone for free. Your money floors right here. It's really hard to find clean pairs of these. Yeah, I got that in uh, Seattle. Walked into a, a store and they had it at a fair price, and yeah. and that's where I picked that up. It yeah. was hard to find. Yeah, made some good money on those. Uh, hit the grade school pairs like crazy, and that was one of those ones where I was really nervous and I hit so many pairs, but. Uh, Man, I made like that seventy-five. Yeah, I made like seventy-five hundred bucks a pair. Seventy-five hundred bucks a pair. Seventy-five to a hundred dollars per pair. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. What, what kind of resell am I doing? I said, I say, where where were you selling yeah. your pairs? These. Wow. So I was oh. telling Johnson we were in Dallas for SneakerCon. Um, his brother wore these when we were there, and I was telling them shout that. Out Dave. Yeah, shout out Dave. And I was telling him about what? all the DBs I used to have. So I used to have the, the gold threes. Dunks. Huh. Oh, Jordans. Yeah, the, the Jordan. Becker Jordans, yeah. I had the threes, fours, fives, never had the sixes, had the eights, had the nines, had the tens. Um, so just seeing these, I just, it's not something you think about every day until you actually see them. Um, but this the is, eights are kind of crazy. This is, yeah, the eights were insane. Straps, I got, yeah. I had them in like a size 12, which was good because it forced me that I couldn't wear them. Yeah. Um, but that was one of the coolest shoes I've ever had. So here you well, go. What, this dropped a year ago, a year and a half ago? Yeah, we, we all should have bought a ton of pairs. We oh, obviously bought and, and yeah. sold about a hundred of them over the way, but yeah. this is a five or six hundred dollar mm -hmm. shoe. So I have a ten and a half over here in inventory that I probably can sell for about, you know, 575 bucks. Hot cake, hot cake. Shake. Shake it. Hold it for me. Shake it. Shake our hand, shake our hand. I think Brandon has, <laughs> in, in the world of reselling, I think Brandon has made more money on the fire red than anybody yeah, else. Yeah, anybody yeah. else? Yeah, I yeah, believe that. I think so. Yeah. I that think we know so. of. You guys know so I love this shoe. That's enough. Oh. Yeah. You guys know I love this shoe. I just picked a pair up uh, not too long ago. I, I wear that one. This is the top three Jordan 4 for me. Y yeah, we're invested in these. Yeah, I would I would think it's safe to say that you're a little but invested in these. But this pair right here is actually the pair that I spent the most on because I bought it from Brandon. Yeah, well, shop commonhypeazy.com. We get stuff early. You heard Let's it. go. Um, motorsports, right? Yep. So, white white. just white and black motorsports? Alternate and then regular. Yeah, okay. That's Alternate. What I thought classic but i mean guys Fine. this one's so much better yeah it's not even close right so that shoe tell me tell for, me tell me what it means to you and i'll tell you what it means to me well for my 16th birthday my parents got me that shoe and so this is the first jordan pair that i owned this isn't the pair but it was a military blue mm -hmm. and i just remember it being the most comfortable shoe and that i loved it and that when i wore it people would comment on it and there's something about wearing something that somebody, when you're walking by comments, like, hey, I like your shoes or whatever, that just makes does something, yeah. makes you feel good. And so when Carter and I were um, talking about getting into this uh, collection stuff, I said to him, I said, well, can you buy me the Jordan 4 Military Boo on those apps and stuff? And we ended up buying a pair like in five minutes. And so this is the first pair that started this whole collection. Short of the Military Blue, which is my favorite four because of the yeah. sentimental value. This, this, shot on this. Top, this is my favorite. Top three. Oh, for me. Fear. Tell them about Carter, it. you like that one? My goodness. Yeah, I, the, I need, the I need details. a dead stock kill this one. It, it's, I've been dead stock killed. I think I killed, yeah, I killed it. Kill these real quick. Black Hats DS? Yep. That's hard to find. Uh, this is a great, yep. this is a great shoe. We always talk about this one. Yeah. We love this one. Me, me and Johnson, we love Jordan 4s. We love 1s, yeah, but we really, silhouette. really love 4s. And same thing, just a combination of the colors is just, yeah, it's just really nice. And then the yellow hint, almost like a Coast Dunk 5. We were trying to get Drew at Secret Yeah, at Secret this is the This is the yeah. shoe. And we ended up and getting, getting him, what, a Coast? Yep. Coast. Coast Dunk, yeah. But Drew, this, we, we, got your, we, we got your name on one of these. I know you need a good Jordan 4 to be rocking. And, yeah, we're gonna get you into the Jordan Force, bro. Yeah, that's a Drake Toronto Raptors. Yeah, OVO on yep. signature. These are great because um, the leather quality on them is solid, off the charts. Yeah. Purple right there, bang! Like yeah. that's a four hundred, four hundred fifty dollars shoe. Oh, ask Brandon. <sighs> oh, he knows. Oh, I made, I made. Good amount. Well done, young man. <laughs> Topes. Yep. I, I really no. disappointed yeah, on the he's, yeah. on the material on this. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I was so looking forward to this shoe. This this one of my favorite shoes is the um, 
is the Travis PE. Mm -hmm. uh, the purple one's my favorite, the brown one's my second, and and so I was just so hyped for these, and then the material came out. I saw them in your store. Yeah. And I was like, eh. You're like, these are so bad. Do you have a 10 and a half? I'll take them. <laughs> favorite Jordan 4 of all wow. time. This Classics. is my favorite Jordan 4 of all time. This okay. is the shoe that got me into reselling. Oh, that's so good. And at one point, I had a pair, an OG pair, an OG pair of these. Man, and I got it from yeah. the app. Yeah. I Probably for 250 bucks. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. I believe it. Maybe all right, so. We got through a majority of this Jordan wall. This was, should we yeah. step back and show them? Show them what we've done so far. Show them how tiny you are. Well, see what they've done too, because if they've if they've sat and watched, they went, they did this, they did it too. Oh yeah, you guys did it. So if you guys are still here, we just finished this side. We're gonna head over to the left side right now. Don't forget, we still have, we still have to get to uh, a couple pairs down here. Show them so. though for the people. We're getting there, we're getting Ooh. there. Oh, oh, you oh, showed too oh. much. So we're getting there. We're gonna get Stick through some around. more of this. We're basically on the grail wall right now. So everything at this point now you're gonna see is gonna be pretty crazy. So um, we're gonna fly through these real quick. Thunder, Thunder Force, Spool Gray Force. Another Fire. great shoe, yeah. Our only pair of 10s. They're not bad. We've Infrared worn Infrared 10s. I, I kid you not, guys. I played a basketball game in those shoes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, I used to wear this stuff. It's crazy. Jordan 11s, iconic silhouette. We've got the lows, we've got the highs. You guys were around back in the day, people used to cut, do a, like, that's when customs were really, really big, and people would uh, custom and they'd black out this midsole, and I remember I did it to my pair, um, and it actually looked pretty cool. One of the grails of all time in Jordans. So every sneaker reseller should own a Jordan 11 Concord, probably the shoe that started sneaker reselling, standing in line, yep. buying it for retail, reselling it is the Concord 11. Uh, just iconic reseller shoe. I agree. Concord bread, not bad. We sold a lot of those in store when we first opened. That was like one of the only retros we actually moved. Um, get down here, the cap and gowns, graduations, yeah, whatever sweet. you guys want to call them. These are these are really tough. I actually really like these on feet. When people wear these, I I look down and I, I give them the compliment. These are Space Jams, or no, sorry. 72 and 10. 72 and 10, my that bad. That was a Christmas drop in like 2018 or something like that. Thing to note about these, these are leather on the top. These are super nice. Yeah. Very high quality. And then these ones though are Space Jam 11s. These obviously, these are one of the shoes I had before we started collecting all the sneakers. So I got these, uh, I think these are 2018. These are by one of our friends, Johnny Kicks. Um, he, did, he did these ones for a small set of people but so it's our version of the sb lobster i guess johnson has a very very strong custom game um but he did custom union lows which is super super sick which they were made out of what jordan it was a jordan one though yeah so it was made out of a bread chef huel did a great job with that and then did the same thing with this one this is the same base shoe for this off-white, yeah, it's an off-white one. Low. And this was you said a gamer or a low? Yeah. An obsidian off-white custom, uh, which is pretty cool. It's like you don't see stuff like this every day. And what can I say, Johnson? Johnson's custom collection is it's pretty tough. All right, you know? now it's time to get into some some cool stuff. some Grail stuff right here. I actually just picked up a pair of these. They should be headed to the shop soon. Uh, but the Air Max 90 off-white, the Desert Ore. Yeah, Desert Ore. Those are sweet. I was never too much a big fan of the 90s in general, um, but yeah, they killed those. Prestos, we used to have the black pair, I think we sold them, uh, but the white pair is pretty sweet, we've worn them. On the bottom we have the 97s. I'm not a huge fan wearing these. I heard those are super uncomfortable. They're, they're uncomfortable just because they're really skinny. We had the Serena pair, but I mean, we sold them because we don't like wearing them. Let's talk about these. Huh. I mean, the goat off-white sneakers, I'd say. Yeah. Right? I mean, you got all three. There's, there's not one missing. For the people right there. For the people, for the kids. Chicago's, my uh, my dad was hunting for these for a while. Didn't want to pull the trigger on them, so my mom got them for him for Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Dad. I think my mom got me a chocolate heart. Hey. But that works too. We love Lindsay around Man, here, so. I love you, Mom. She, uh, she got these for my dad. These were one of the first ones when we started when we started collecting, these were one of the first high ticket items we bought. I mean, these, there's nothing really to talk about. You guys know, you either, you either know or you right? don't. Yeah. This is uh, this is one of our, this is one of our best dollar 
dollar wise investments we made we've probably made the most dollars on this shoe off white fives yeah white and black these are my my favorites are the yeah this the is blazers. one of my favorite off whites from the 10 pack yeah the OG so blazer serena's those are sick yeah. i just can't wear them way too much money it's just the black pair at the bottom and then the og pair right here all right travis travis high and then I mean, we've given it a lot of love in this video, but yeah. these are my dad's favorite sneakers. Obviously, you can tell. Yeah. They're worn. He prefers pink laces. Maybe tell us in the comments which ones you prefer. I prefer black, just the clean look, as you see on Bryson. Some people do red. I don't know. You can tell us what you think. These ones right here, the SBs, I think these are sick. I hit these for retail. I was living in Colorado at school um, and hit these at a skate shop in Denver. That's and so nuts. it was at a time where my dad was a little frustrated with me for dead stock killing. He calls me the dead stock killer for good reason. Cause I just kill all of these shoes dead stock. But, uh, I, I specifically called him cause I won the raffle and said, dad, can I dead stock kill these out of the store? So I went into the skate shop, got these and then wore them out of the store. So pretty cool story on those. Pretty lucky. Where's so. you guys know about those? Those have gone up a whole lot. Um, yep. sixes way better than the British khakis in my opinion. Yep. You guys can argue with me about that, but we don't have those yet. Looking for them, but not willing to pay the resale price at the moment. You can uh, find your size at Common High Paisy. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Common High Paisy shop twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. I think these are some of the best Jordan ones oh, out there. Oh yeah. Um, which which favorite? you like blue or black? I personally like black just because of the cleaner look of it. I wear oh, black clothing, I but say blue. blue, dude. Blue, 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 blue. See, me and you, we get it. You guys have seen these a thousand Unions, times. Unions, new new colorways coming out pretty soon. Back hey, door. Hey, Brandon's starting to make some money on those. Hey. Let's go. Hold buddy. up. Well, you guys but... know I love my Jordan 4s. Okay. And I love the guavas. Tell them why you love the I guavas. I do have a pair of guavas. Um, shout out to Johnson. Hey. He he does a lot of generous things and he doesn't expect um, any credit for anything, but I will like to. I don't think I ever told the channel that um, Johnson gifted me a pair of guavas for my birthday this year. Um, and I don't think I ever thanked him on camera. And I know he's not expecting it or doesn't want it but I'm gonna thank him here while we're in his room talking about them. So um, you guys know the guavas I wear, those are from Johnson. So thank you to Johnson and the Johnson Sneaker Co. Johnson's whole family for um, the love on that. And then these, we just picked a pair of these up in store. You guys will see in the next video, we have some footage from uh, yesterday in store. We just picked up a pair of these, so spoiler alert. But I love these. Yeah, these are great. I shoe. mean, we bought them used. So my uncle and I have gotten some wear out of them. He's a little more crazy on the colors, wears some stance socks. Yeah. I'm not as much. I love my force. Tell me what you think I about I actually these. hit a pair of these for retail. This was like my first really big retail hit back in the day. Uh, me and Brandon made a video, like I said, on our old channel um, of all the cool stuff we used to do. But yeah, I hit a pair of black cause fours. I won the raffle on cause.com. Uh, you put in all your payment information. They, they send you an email if you won. I got the email. Me and Brandon were so we were so washed. We, we never hit anything. I was like, I walked in, I was like, Brandon, I hit the cost. He's like, no, you didn't. I was like, yes, I did. So then I went on uh, Uniqlo.com and ordered the Snoopy uh, Uniqlo? Doll. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Uniqlo? whatever it's called. Dude. I went and, I I went and bought the called. Snoopy uh, figure. It was like a little stuffed <laughs> animal. Sick. I still have it in my room. Yeah. That's weird, yeah. I mean, I'm a grown man with a Snoopy stuffed animal in my room, but it's cause, so it's cool. I remember Danny, Danny paid the absolute so NASA good. for I mean, NASA. just the, the tag's really sick on the back. Obviously, you got the, the X's yeah. for cause. Give you guys the, the short run of this. It's the entire Kobe fade to black pack. Um, all the way, top to bottom, one to 11. Hey, he As you guys, his last game. Yeah, yep. he, yeah, these go for. Those go for a ton. Um, R.I.P. Kobe. We, we collected this really early on in our collection long before he passed away. Um, so obviously these are worth a lot more, but uh, someday we want to do like a, we would love to, if we if we got to like build a build a sneaker room and build some displays and stuff, we'd love to do a Kobe display with this. Cause it's a really, it's a unique collection, especially nowadays, it's harder to get your hands on pairs. And uh, yeah, so those are pretty sweet. Oh, by the way, you know what? We're already over here. Oh yeah, come on. Me and Johnson, Johnson, come on. You gotta come talk to me about these. Tell me and Johnson have been super pumped about these. But yeah, we love our dunks and uh, that's a good one. It's a good one. If only if only anyone it's, else could get them. It's early, right? Yeah. So that drops uh, the 17th. So this Thursday or Friday yeah. in the US. But we got pairs and where can you get pairs while you're watching this video? Ooh. Commonhypeaz.com. We'll have Brandon or someone go in and load them tonight so that they're ready for you guys in the morning if you guys want to grab them online. Uh, but I'm going to be bringing all these pairs to the store 
Uh, we got eight and a half, ten, ten and a half, eleven, nine and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, all that. So we'll have pairs for you guys in store. I know you, a bunch of you guys reached out to me after Kobe Swap Me video. A bunch of you guys commented after Kobe Swap Me. Um, so me and Johnson, we're gonna take care of you, and we're gonna have some in store for you guys early, so you guys don't have to deal with all the uh, release madness. So um, yeah, Johnson, Brandon, let's finish this bad boy out. All right. So you guys see, he has his custom Dior mids on. He actually has the real lows right here. So. Don't get it twisted. They got, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Uh, but talk about some of these samples you got. We have, what do we have? We have Georgetown. Yep. They're all fours. Georgetown, University of Florida, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Marquette, and Marquette. Of course, you guys have Did seen you the say Mar Marquette and Marquette. It's Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Sorry. Neck. Can't see up down. So upside down. Uh, you guys have seen the Marquettes before because you saw Marcus Howard's video with us on a way video back when. But uh, tell us why you. Uh, bought some of these samples, a little story, quick little recap. Yeah, I, well, I think it, it starts with the fact that that we love the Jordan 4 silhouette. And in getting into collecting, you know, these are the things that are posted the most on Instagram. And there's a gentleman called The Perfect Pair that has, you know, I mean, he has our collection, but in, you know, high-end PEs and one of ones and one of tens and stuff, it's, it's unbelievable. And uh, JC Lopez and I, um, started to, to buy them and collect them kind of together and so it started with one or two that then got to four and then it was like oh wow I guess we need to complete the set so uh, the last two that we got were the Georgetown and the UNC's um, and so that, then it just became well we got all of them and uh, honestly it's a I mean it's a little extreme I said it earlier right I, I get it, I understand it, that it's extreme. Um, but it, w it was fun to do, it was fun to chase them. We right. got them at different places. There's basically three guys that that sell these and, and resell them. Uh, you know, their IGs, Depeche Mode, um, English Soul. English Soul's a big one. And then um, uh, Scotty, yep. uh, Soul Steals. Um, those three, you know, resell and handle all the PEs. And then the, uh, you know, Jordan 1s are my, you know, they're my favorite to wear and stuff. So, you know, I wanted to get the Dior's. Um, the Travis 1s are my favorite, but these are probably my second favorite. Uh, I'll find an occasion to dead stock kill these. Uh, haven't done it yet, but but will have no interest in reselling it or, or you know, trying to make any money off of, right. of buying it. So I uh, waited to buy these so that we got them at the right price. So, um, but yeah. Uh, great shoe and um, and you know turns heads. And yeah, and all your the, PEs are your size, right? Right. Yeah, they're I think ten I th and a half and eleven. Ten and a half and eleven. In in most cases, uh, Jordan Four fits a little better in a ten and a half, right. uh, depending on um, the style. So, and for those of you who don't know, maybe maybe you have no idea why why we're talking about these and why they're a big deal. These so Jordan brand sponsors each one of these schools and these are made for the football teams and basketball teams. So as you can see on all of these, these are for the football teams. Um, these are the only ones that are for the basketball team. Which is the Marquette ones. The right? Marquette ones. The rest of them are for the football teams. So that's why they're worth the money that they are and that's why I mean they're high. And some of the boxes will have the, the name of the player yeah. and some of it's uh, crossed out um, right. or ripped off. Um, a couple of our boxes actually has the players' names on them. Hmm. Um, and the send other a, send them a thank you text. Yeah. The, the yeah. other thing is is that if you get into smaller sizes of these um, like nines and eights, they're they're they either don't they're exist rare. or um, it was a and that's because pair. players or football players don't have that size, right. so they were never made. And so in a lot of cases, the assistant coaches or something have had those sizes, and and so they're really rare in the smaller sizes. You see them more in the larger sizes, especially the twelves and thirteens. Um, because of they're made specifically for the players. So, real quick, choose your favorite one. Mine's got to be the Oklahoma. I just love the red with that. Got that splatter white paint all over it with that icy blue sole. I think that's beautiful. Georgetown. I like the gray, icy sole. Obviously, I think all of them have icy soles, but I like the gray with the navy blue hints. Yeah, uh, Marquette for me. Uh, just a subtle, um, you know, uh, Carolina blue with the splatter and. Uh, I just think they did a good job on the market. What about you, Brad? I would say I would say Georgetown's too. So that wraps up this full collection. 
and it was a long one. So thank you guys for everybody who stayed to the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. We really hope you enjoyed it. I mean, each shoe had its own story. Each shoe has uh, obviously been built over the years. I mean, not many years, but you built it pretty quickly. So it's uh, it's it's quite fascinating to see the amount of shoes that are in here. Um, and at one point kind of get to something like that for ourselves at some point. Uh, Again, let us hold a dollar maybe one day when we get there. Uh, lots of shoes, right? So he sells a lot to obviously pay for the collection. You guys see a lot of card stuff right here. A lot of dunk boxes, easy boxes and stuff behind you. So we will have one of those videos, I think, where we actually sit down and get, kind of give you guys our take on reselling and you know, kind of how we do what we do and um, maybe give you guys some more insight on that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure to leave a comment down below. But uh, Johnson, any last words for the YouTubers? <laughs> No, just uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. It's awesome to see the subscribers and stuff continue to grow. And I know you're putting out a lot of nice content. I know I enjoyed watching it. Uh, they enjoy watching it. But thank you. Thank you for investing your time to watch a video like this. Uh, we're, we're humbled to um, be in a position to do something like this. Um, it's been a lot of years of hard work, something that I'm able to do with my son and, and do something that's uh, meaningful to us. Um, where as uh, could invest in other things but choose to invest in this because I'm doing it with my sons and something that uh, we can do together and then I meet guys like you which has been uh, pretty awesome so thank you guys for tuning in thanks for coming in and spending some time yeah. appreciate you and we just want to thank him again for allowing us to come into his home and invade his time for a little bit we've been here all afternoon um, we did a lot of time filming bureau like I mentioned we spent a lot of time down here filming this video for you guys so again uh, make sure you guys give some shout outs so show some love to Johnson we'll leave their Instagram down below and on the screen uh, make sure you guys go show them some love and you know we appreciate them for allowing us in here because we know this is something that you guys really wanted to see and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it so if you did make sure you guys subscribe to the channel like this video and uh, comment down below because we respond to every single comment and we have a hundred yes, bucks going do. out we've got a hundred bucks going out um to any of the commenters down below so give us what you got just tell us your, your favorite shoe in here your favorite part of the video um whatever you guys want to comment uh leave your cash out too and we might choose you we've already chosen winners from last videos and previous videos so thank you guys for all the support so far and uh 50k like brandon said earlier i'll throw in 500 of my own money brandon will put something together for the store we'll do a huge giveaway for 50k if we can hit it by the end of june so um, hopefully let's you guys, do it. yeah, let's do 50K. it. Okay. That'd be really awesome. That'd be there awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today's video. We will see you in the next one from myself, Johnson, Bryson, Carter behind the camera, Drew, who's not here, but spiritually he's here. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.